Hey, what's up, Local Joe? Um, big fan of your videos. Uh, I've been following your tray flip journey. Um, you've probably also gotten a bunch of people commenting and stuff on your videos, trying to give you some trick tips. Uh, I'm not pro by any means, but tray flips are a trick that I have very consistently. So I'd like to just kind of offer my two cents if you're uh, willing to listen. So when I was first learning tray flips, the hardest thing for me was to get the board to spin the full 360 rotation, right? So the first couple days I was trying to learn it, um, I think it took me quite a while actually, is I didn't care if it flipped or if I landed it, whatever. My whole focus was to just get the scoop and the board to spin 360, which if there's anything you've accomplished during this 10 day challenge is that you've gotten really good at the scoop because I've noticed it get a lot better over the course of your videos, not just from the 10 days, but like from learning them prior, going through the whole 10 day challenge and everything, right? Now you just need to work on I don't want to say the flick because you can flick the board, but I guess necessarily like the technique, right? So once I finally learned how to get the board to spin 360 and I was trying to learn how to do the flip, the next hardest part for me was figuring out how to get the board to do the 360 motion and get both feet out of the way, right? So, so I've noticed that with your scoop now, you're really good at getting that good scoop and then bringing your back foot up so that the board can spin underneath it, right? But now you also need to bring your front foot up. So one of the things I think you actually addressed in one of your videos during the 10 day challenge, and one thing that I noticed is that it looks like as soon as you're ready to scoop, you're gonna scoop and then you're immediately flicking your board, right? So what that's doing is limiting the height of your board and making your tray flip more horizontal so it's not getting the full rotation. And because you're flicking your foot right away, you're not getting your foot up. So not only is the board like kind of not getting the height it needs to get the full rotation, now you're gonna have a hard time getting your front foot back on it because you didn't allow your foot to come up so there's room for the board to spin. So what I'd recommend is practice focusing now on your front foot because your scoop's pretty good. I don't think you really need to worry about that anymore but practice the timing with your front foot. So when you scoop, practice picking your front foot up, like bring that knee up before you flick. And when you flick, flick up and out 45. So what you're gonna wanna do is practice like when you scoop, bring your knee and your foot up and then scoop like up and out 45 degrees in front of you. That way your board can kinda get the leverage it needs, and you can get your foot up out of the way after you flick. Um, I'll put like a slow-mo video of a tray flip at the end of this, so you can kind of look and analyze it if you want to. I know it's kind of hard um, trying to visualize it without me like doing it, so uh, here's a clip.